I know that Elijah was banged up earlier this year, and then he had the concussion issue, and it, it's affected, obviously. Um, it affected his play earlier. He's talked pretty openly about that. Last few weeks, he's been healthy. Are you guys sort of measuring uh, how much contact he still gets in games, which maybe affects his, uh, his touches because of the injuries? No. Um, I mean, he's been, you know, when you look at the number of snaps that he played last week as opposed to the week before, the week before that, it's probably very, very similar. So now in terms of touches, that's all about what the game dictates, you know. It's, it comes with check, whatever the check downs are or anything like that? Yeah, or? I mean, he could be in. We could call a run. The defense give us an opportunity to throw the ball, and that's what we're going to take. The difference between him after he got after the – Got overcame the concussion as opposed to before the concussion when he was still banged up some. How different a player is he right now? I think right now he's starting to get back in his rhythm. You know, each, in my opinion, each game he's gotten better and better and better. And this last game, I mean, we ran with tremendous passion and purpose and perseverance. So I think he's starting to get back into his rhythm. Now that TJ is, he went back to return some kickoffs during the Duke game. I think he returned the second kickoff. And, and is he going to still get the same number of reps? Uh, in the backfield, or is that going to be limited some now that he's returning kicks? No, absolutely. I mean, he, he's still, you know, going to get his, uh, you know, his uh, reps in terms of offensively and defensively. He's, what he's done is basically giving us a spark um, here on special team to, that we needed. Is there a conscious effort of uh, limiting his uh, touches earlier in the game so that he will be fresher at the end, or is that just a, uh, a product of the last couple of weeks? Is that just a product of not having opportunities to, to get in the ball in the second quarter? From start to finish, we're trying to win the game. So whatever opportunities that we have to put ourselves in position to put points on the board, we're going to try to take advantage of them. Whether it's running or passing, that's what we're trying to get done. Back, back to TJ, has he been a better power runner this year than he had in his first three years? He, he's been a much more productive player. Overall, he's better in every aspect. I'm very proud of how he's playing right now. Jordan Brown, um, he gets a couple touches uh, every every couple of games, it seems like, but it's really hard to tell from our vantage point what kind of progress he's making. What kind of progress has he made? Well, he's, he's made a lot of progress. Um, you know, you saw him in the Virginia game get out there and kind of, you know, uh, put himself in position just to kind of get a great feel for what it's like to play big-time college football. And then the game after that, you know, he came in a little bit later and uh, I think the Georgia Tech game and really did some some really good things. And so what we want to try to do is continue to get him some snaps, build his confidence and put him in a position um, to where he can be great of great service to this football program. As, as far as being in the game for someone like him, what's the greatest adjustment? The, the speed the defense moves? Uh, the offensive line and just kind of reading things and adjusting if something's not there, or is it the physicality, the way you get hit by bigger guys? I think it's the speed of the game right now, you know, and I think the thing is starting to slow down for him. Um, you know, the more he plays, the more comfortable he's getting, so that's good, and that's where you want to get to, to where, you know, when, you, when he's out there, he's comfortable, he can see things a lot faster, he can react a lot faster. The decision to not redshirt him and to keep him out there and get him a few reps, is that part in part because you you want to come back with somebody with experience next year in case Elijah does leave, as opposed to having no backs with college experience? Was that, was that part of the yeah, thing? I don't think, in my opinion, there was ever a plan to redshirt him. You know, he dictates whether he plays or not based on how he practices and how he progresses. And he's progressed, so we, we're finding spots and opportunities to put him in and get him some experience. And again, on the last time he was out there, you know, he, he made good on his playing time. So at some point, you'll see him again before the season is over. Yeah, I think he's got 14 or 16 carries. I'm not sure exactly. The number. Say, for the sake of discussion, that Elijah does leave. How valuable are those carries going to be when you get to next spring? That he has that on film and he has that experience and he's seen the speed of the game already. Yeah, I think any carries, any you know, opportunity he gets to play, any experience that he can get is very, very valuable. Um, again, it's all about growth and progress for him to put him in a position where he's comfortable and where he can help us. Thank you. I appreciate it very much.